Hey folks, Dave here with another video review up. Today is the Star Wars The Force Awakens X-Wing fighter jet or plane or spacecraft for Poe Dameron. It's pretty much a X-Wing fighter that's gray and orange instead of white. Okay, let's figure this thing out. Um, there it is. Focus. There we go. There's our $50 spacecraft and pilot. All right. Now this is the pilot that comes with it. This is Poe Dameron. His head, his helmet does come off. Uh, the helmet is a little miswarped or warped or I don't know how to say it, but it, it doesn't fit his head properly. Um, if you try to fix one side, the other side becomes too high. It, it's just odd. The helmet kind of sticks out to the back. Um, he does come with a little gun, but unfortunately the barrel of it is pointed slightly downward. So he's going to shoot somebody, he's going to end up shooting them in the kneecaps. Um, articulation. Arms go all the way around. Head is on the ball joint which some customizers might like but unfortunately it's on a bigger ball joint so it won't fit GI Joe's just to let y'all know um, legs split like this so there's not very many poses you can do with this guy because once you like, yeah um, the paint apps on this figure are kind of lacking some orange and the black glove um, black paint going on to the orange suit it it's, seems very cheaply made actually it feels like one of those uh, old corpse figures uh, the ones before they started adding actual joints to them um, it's just terrible let me show you something this is the cockpit opens up right and let me take off Luke because I had Luke in there because honestly he fits better than the pilot okay Put him in here, right? Doesn't close. Let's put down his arms. That'll fix everything. Nope, does not close. You literally have to push this guy all the way in, put him on his lazy chair. Oh, not low enough. Come on, get down there. Oh. Okay, there we go. It closed. Of course, he is now looking up. So if there's someone in front of him, he ain't gonna see him. Oh, look at the stars. They're so nice. The ship is very nice looking. It's sleek. It's beautiful. Or it would be if they had done some of the paint apps better. Um, there is orange paint apps here, mist apps here. Um, a silver here. Uh, orange smear here underneath the wings there's orange paint apps here and there's a smudge of paint left over here it doesn't feel like a good quality paint job that's for sure all right now bb8 is you uh press down bb8 here to split the wings okay now leftover spider webbing here from I guess the mold okay but the spring that separates the wings aren't strong enough to keep it separated okay so it's kind of kind of lacking there all right um, again there's flashing on this thing all over the place I missed this one I cut off two others that were on there I missed this one um, the plastic quality of this thing is lacking to say the least like these large laser cannons they're made specifically to fit certain areas but the way they were packaged it warped the cannons and i i don't know if you can tell but these two are kind of like bent upwards on the other side okay One's pointed down, one's pointed up. I mean, 
it's they just warped majorly i'm hoping i can fix them due to the cheap plastic they use hopefully i can heat them up so forth um the plastic is very thin okay hopefully y'all can see it you can see the light right here shining through the plastic My lights are just regular lights, nothing special. And you could just see the lights shining through the plastic. Okay. Um, this rubber nose tip, well, this nose tip is a piece of rubber. Whoops, sorry. This nose tip is a piece of rubber and so forth. I mean, uh, they should have been able to this glue it or something it just terrible um, mine was splitting from the nose and I can't fix it because this screw that they put on here is some kind of weird screw at first I thought it was a Phillips head screwdriver screw but it isn't so anyone who's gonna modify this you're not gonna be able to take it apart as easily uh, to do your customization and, and put it back together uh, it's there's even orange here this ship was 50 bucks and it feels light and sounds light uh, cheap it feels like a cheaper quality plastic um, they could have done extra stuff like better paint apps they could have added the paint apps here to match these um, it, it's just not enough they could have taken may BBA be able to be re removed from here and pop back on but of course he doesn't uh, the cockpit only opens up to a certain amount when it, it should be able to open up more uh, the box shows it straight up and down and, and it doesn't do it it's just just lacking um, adding this figure that's pretty cheaply made and it, it's just a fell all over all over the place on this this playset. In the end, it doesn't feel like a fifty dollar spaceship and, and figure. It feels like a twenty dollar knockoff that you would get from Kids Connections at Walmart. It's it's just lacking. And if it didn't come inside this packaging, I would have assumed that this thing was a knockoff that was fake that some guy in China was making them out of his garage and selling it to people saying they're legit items it's just very lacking it's very sad and I, I can't recommend this to anybody um, you'll be wasting your money you'll be unhappy and I, I can't say that's a good thing but uh, again stay away from this thing it, you'll just save yourself some money thank you for watching and uh, God bless. I'm not saying anything you haven't heard before. No one's gonna wait for you to wake up anymore.